How's everyone doing today? This time we are going to show you the tool that has been requested by many and now is finally available in the new version of VSDC. It is the effect called Lens Distortion. The most common use of lens distortion is the removal of the fisheye effect. The fisheye effect can be the result of using an ultra-wide angle lens that often rounds off the edges of the video. However, the lens distortion effect can be used to achieve some creative, unusual looks too. We'll show you how to use it in a second. First, add your video recorded on a wide-angle camera or action camera to the scene. Now, open the video effects menu, go to transforms and select lens distortion. Please note that the effect settings include the following parameters. Correction mode allows you to choose between the light and advanced modes. The advanced mode provides more flexible settings of focus and distortion factor for the X and Y axis. The parameter called X and Y axis focus defines the proportions of the effect. Distortion factor helps you set the level of distortion. A frame will modify the entire image. Correction factor serves to set the level of correction. A frame will only affect the edges of the image. Finally, the X and Y center parameter helps locate the center of the effect. Go ahead and play with the modes to see how the result changes. Oh, and remember we talked about using lens distortion for achieving unusual unique looks. Let's see how it's done. When you apply the effect, try to move its center away from the center of the scene. Now, try to align this with a time frame. Finally, duplicate the effect layer and delete the lens distortion effect from the original video below. Select Screen from the Blending Modes menu. Looks impressive, huh? Try it out, play with the settings and you'll be able to create a unique looking video. Let us know what you think. Leave us a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Until next time.